Girl Scouts today. We're in the council shop and I'm going to show you some of the new items that we've gotten in. We have a blanket for when you go camping. We have some bracelets and some little trinkets and we have plushies. Those are like everybody's favorite. And then we have a whole bunch of stem kits, some new totes and cups. And don't forget the all brand new Girl Scout apparel and it's approved too so you might want to get it. Guys, check out what I'm wearing. I'm wearing some of this Girl Scout apparel, these green cargo pants and this drawstring sweatshirt. And they're both super comfortable, so you should try them out too. Come and shop with us at the GSNCA shops in Birmingham and Huntsville from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Hey Girl Scouts, Kip Killingsworth here back with another fun activity for our Founders Day week celebration. Today, we're going to do a paint along with me class and we're going to paint a daisy. So to get started, all you need is paint, paintbrush, and something to paint on. I've got a canvas board right here, but you could use paper, you could use anything you've got. And if you don't have paint, you can use markers or colored pencils. The process isn't much different. Okay, so to start out, I've painted just a very rough sketch of where I want my daisy to be. So I drew a little circle where I want the center of one daisy to be, and another circle where I want the other daisy to be. And then just an idea of where I want the stems and flowers, or leaves to be. So to start off with, I'm gonna put in my background. So you can use any color you want. You can use multiple colors if you want. Um, but I'm gonna use pink. Now, because I've already drawn in where I want my stems and leaves to be, I can paint around them. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint the whole background pink because I like pink, but you can do any colors you like. I'm not gonna worry too much about getting really close to what I've sketched out because it's gonna be painted, right? I know that my petals are gonna be coming off my daisy, so I'm not even trying to get close to the middle of the flower. Now here's the great thing about paint. You make a mistake and it's still wet, you can wipe it away. And if you make a mistake that you don't see till after it dries, you can paint over it. All right, got my background in and I'm gonna let it dry for just a minute. Before I move on to my next step. So pause here, finish your background, let it dry, and come right back to me. All right, ready for your next step? We're gonna go in and paint the stems and leaves next. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my green and go in and paint your leaves. Now don't worry if it's kind of thin, because you can always go back and add another layer. one leaf and then here's my stem and you'll see right here where I was painting my background that the pink went over a little bit but look at that it gets covered right up doesn't it with my green and let's paint this big leaf how many daisies are you guys painting are you gonna paint one two are you gonna paint 47 daisies Daisy was Juliet Gordon Lowe's nickname it was a nickname given to her by her father when she was very little and now our youngest Girl Scouts, our kindergartners and first graders, are called Girl Scout Daisies after Juliet Gordon Lowe. All right, my stem's painted green. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. And while it does, I'm gonna paint the yellow center of my daisies. And this does not have to be perfect because we're gonna cover it up. All right, there's one yellow middle. And the second. See my two happy faces? All right, are you ready for the really fun part? I am. Let's do our white petals. I've got a lot of white paint here on my canvas. So I get my brush really, really full of white paint. I'm gonna place it down by the happy face middle and go swish it out. Look at that daisy. Looks like his hair is going crazy, doesn't it? Shoo, 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 shoo. 
I got a little dribble of paint on my canvas. That's okay. Sometimes mistakes are the most beautiful part. I think it helps if you make that shh noise. Now I've got my brush a little bit in my yellow paint here. And that kind of drags some of that color out. You see how it drags the yellow a little? We're gonna let that first daisy dry. Don't worry, we're gonna go back over it. And come back here to my second one. I got my paint brush really loaded. She's covering up her leaf a little bit. Oh, I got a little bit of green paint on it, but that's okay. It just makes it look more interesting. All right, we're gonna let this dry for just a second. And then we're going to come back and do a second coat on our daisy up here. All right, let's put on our last coat of white. Ready? So I'm going really thick with this white and going in from right around my middle and out. My little happy daisy here. There's our mama daisy. Let's do our baby daisy. So for any of your troop leaders out here watching, this is a cool project to do with your troop, maybe at the beginning of the year, every single year. And then you can see how your Girl Scouts abilities have changed over the years. All right, so I think my petals are done. Let's add some detail now, okay? So I've got a brush that's got a little bit more of a tip on it, and I'm gonna add in a little bit of brown to my middle here. Just kinda tap, tap, tapping. All right, now let's add some definition. If you would like to be done at this point, there is nothing wrong with this. If you want to be done after just putting in your, your uh, background, that's okay. But I'm going to show you how to make it a little, a little more fancy. All right. So we're going to use what's called light and shadow. So I'm going to picture with my daisies that the sun in this picture is up here. So when the sun shines down on these daisies, which parts is it going to hit first? So we're gonna hit the tops of these leaves, the left sides, and the left sides of these flower centers. So remember that my sun's coming from this direction. That's, we're gonna add where it's gonna hit first. All right, so I'm gonna go on my leaf over here. Makes it look like it's shiny, and it's reflecting the sunlight go on this side of the flower stem and do the same thing here on this side of the stem you see how it makes it look like it's shiny and let's add a little bit here in our flower middles does that make it look like your flower shiny now let's make it a little bit more complicated and a little bit more defined and like I said, you can stop anytime you want. We're gonna add definition to some of these. So I've got black on my little skinny brush and I'm gonna outline the leaves. You can also do this with like a Sharpie marker after it dries. And you'll see that my line is not perfect. It does not matter. The important part is I'm having fun and I'm learning something too. So I'm not gonna outline the flowers because they're kinda fluffy and funky, aren't they? But I am gonna outline the middles of the flowers. All right. 
All right, Girl Scouts, what do you think? I think we're done. Do you like it? I would love to see your works of art that you create at home. Thank you so much for joining me to paint this daisy picture for Juliet Gordon Lowe's birthday. Happy Founders Day!